back to local news. The School of the Health Sciences, which is currently under construction, is scheduled to be completed and operational by the 29th of July 2011. The building will be named the Center for Africa, and the Monash South Africa Director of Facilities, Peter Gordard, told Mo Info that the Center for Africa will house an atrium and a stage area. The facility would enable the institution to host conferences, events, and seminars. Within the Center of Africa, there have been provisions made to house the campus radio station as well as an operational space for Mo TV. The state-of-the-art technology that will be installed in the building will include television and radio production equipment. This is a joint venture between Monash South Africa, the Journalism Society, and the Office of Musasa Media License. The Mo FM radio broadcast will commence in the second semester. and the cultural officer have warned clubs and societies to shape up or ship out. The Musasa 2011 Arts and Culture Officer, Mr. Tepotlady, has warned clubs and societies to shape up or face suspension. This same warning came after a series of measures and reforms that were adopted by his office in order to give the clubs and societies a more positive direction. Study put in place strict financial regulations to ensure effective usage of funds. The Arts and Culture Officer also said that the days of bad management and lame drug clubs and societies are over. He cautioned clubs and societies to register with Musasa in order to operate within the university or they will be shut down. Still on clubs and societies, the Monarch University South Africa Debate Association will host the Houghton University's Debate Provincial Tournament. The two-day tournament is scheduled to take place on the 16th and 17th of April. In an interview with more info, the financial director of the tournament, Mr. Garrison Motlante, said that they are hosting the biggest provincial tournament to date, and 190 delegates are expected to take part in the two-day tournament. Now moving on to campus protection. The Monash South Africa Campus Protection Services will no longer be in charge of Residence 6. Private security has been sourced for the residents. This came after the residence was removed from the management of the university to become a separate entity. This information was relayed by the head of campus protection services, Mr. Verna Karoto. He cited that entrance at residence 4 will be regulated and as part of this development, turnstile mechanism will be put in place at the residence. This means that entrance will only be accessible with a student card. All these developments will be in place before the end of the semester. Mr. Karoto encouraged students to cooperate with security personnel to ensure their safety and concluded that community policing is important because safety is a collective responsibility. The Monash South Africa Students Association, also known as Masasa, has grown into a bigger family. Within the addition of the post of the International License Officer, Mr. Kuda Kwashim Tuma, the association now has 11 members. This new office means that the days of international students having to go all the way home to renew their visas and study permits are over. Ntuma explained that he is responsible for ensuring better welfare to all international students, and he also said that he has established a network of cooperation between the Home Affairs Department, the police, and his office. 
He will also be working closely with Mosasa student advocate Alvis Mukarakate to ensure that the student concerns and grievances are addressed. In line with giving students a voice and platform to express themselves, the Office of Musasa Media Liaison, in conjunction with the Journalism Society, will launch More Times, which is an inline campus news, online campus newspaper. Speaking to More Info, Rutendom Tamira stated that the reason why it would be an online publication was to contribute to Monash University's Go Green Awareness campaign. This therefore means less will be printed and news will be regulated and updated in real time. Expect more times to be operational by the beginning of April. Now the Facebook battle continues and it seems like the ITS department has now taken the lead. The information technology department known as the ITS has blocked Facebook usage on school computers. More info took to the ground to find out what the students had to say about this. One student was disgruntled by the initiative, stating that Facebook was more than a social interaction. It is a source of information, therefore it should not be closed. Another student speaking on the issue in her capacity as the Musasa Media Liaison Rutendo, she expressed that the reason why Facebook is closed is because some students do not have the discipline to balance their social life as well as their academics. However, she, it, she reiterated that social networking websites such as Facebook and Twitter do assist in getting information to students faster and in real time. Early on Mo Talk's show, Murudi Petla had an interview with Arthur Bradley, which is the ITS manager, to get their side of the story. For more information about what is happening on campus, students can visit iRep Monash, which is the official social media platform for Monash South Africa students. And as from April, students will be able to access the, re the revamped Musasa website at musasaforyou.co.za. For those of you that can still access Facebook, please be sure to join the iRep Monash fan page and the group. And for those of you that are on Twitter, let's follow them at iRep.monash. <music>